What's up everyone, it's Tyranitar Tube and welcome back to another Pokemon concept coverage video. Today's episode is going to be the first one branching out from just covering possible Hoenn Megas, as other generations have Mega Pokemon confirmed to feature in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. And what better way to start it off than with Jinx? Now I know what you're thinking, and while I thought Jinx should get an evolution before a Mega Evolution, there have been a few things that have changed my mind. The main reason why Pokemon fans think Jinx should evolve first is because of how it looked like part of a trio along with Electabuzz and Magmar, but if you look more into it, it's actually a duo excluding Jinx, which is why Magmar and Electabuzz obtained evolutions in Generation 4, leaving Jinx behind. So Jinx doesn't necessarily have to evolve again to redeem itself by going back on par with Electivire and Magmortar. And then there's the trademark speculation. Months before X and Y's release, a list of re-registered trademarks were leaked containing the names of every Mega Pokemon found in X and Y, along with Jinx, Plusle, Minum, Kyogre, Groudon, and Rayquaza. I'll save the rest of those names for a future video video, but Jinx being on that list surprises me, and I almost feel like Mega Jinx was supposed to be featured in X and Y, but was scrapped and saved for Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. And that's where we are today. I have a real good feeling that Jinx will be Mega Evolving in these upcoming games and tapping into its full potential. Now Jinx is actually one of those Pokemon that can be really good, but also really bad. It's great offensive typing is a nice and psychic type, in combination with its high speed and special attack can pose a huge threat to teams, and with its dry skin ability, it can switch in on water types and gain the upper hand. It's also known for its low accuracy but very annoying move, Lovely Kiss, which can turn Jinx into a pain in the butt to take down, unless you're a physical attacker. Jinx's physical defense and HP is extremely low, so while Jinx can pose a threat to some teams, it can be fairly easy to counter with the average team. If Jinx were to Mega Evolve, it needs to get an overall buff not only to deal heavier blows, but to also be able to hang in there. It should get a large boost to its special attack, as well as a smaller boost to its defense, special defense, and speed. This would ultimately make it a slightly bulkier but weaker version of Mega Alakazam. But with Jinx's stats, these stat buffs seem like what's best for it. The most popular abilities for Mega Jinx are Dry Skin, Refrigerate, and Snow Warning. Dry Skin, its original hidden ability, actually proved to be very helpful to Jinx, allowing it to switch in on water attacks. Refrigerate would give it more potential to a larger variety of Jinx's ice attacks, like Hyper Voice, which breaks through substitutes and deals a huge amount of damage, Echoed Voice that deals more and more damage every turn, or other attacks that just have good secondary effects. And Snow Warning would be a great ability for play overall. It'll damage the opponent every turn breaking possible Focus Sashes, maximize Blizzard's accuracy, as well as a few smaller things. There's only so much a Mega Evolution can do to Jinx, but if used correctly, it can prove to be a solid threat. Here's a fan design for how Mega Jinx could look. You may have seen this image before as it was a popular fake scan of a Jinx evolution before the release of X and Y. Being much slimmer with that psychic feel, it looks like a Pokemon that would become much faster while remaining Freyo, but I actually like the design. This next design is a slightly different take at a possible Mega Jinx. Unlike the first design, it maintains a lot of its features just with small variations, and it works well because it looks like it would gain more bulk and offensive power. And finally, this last design is my personal favorite, mainly because of how realistic of a Mega it is. It looks much faster, much more powerful, and finally looks like a part Ice type. I can just imagine Jinx Mega evolving into this thing in game, and I'm hoping that Mega Jinx does look something like this. But these are just my opinions. Let me know your thoughts on Mega Jinx in the comments below, and feel free to leave a like if you enjoyed the video. There is a ton of Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire content to come, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. If you missed the recent gameplay analysis on Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire gameplay, go ahead and check out the video on the left. You can also hit the subscribe button if you want to be notified each time I upload a video.